Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Maybe the Windows Explorer just isn't doing it for you. You know, if you're on Windows and you're trying to manage your files. Maybe the Finder just isn't doing it for you. Maybe you're someone who believes that they need to FTFF, which they may very well do in the next iteration of Mac OS X, also known as Snow Leopard. Or maybe you're on Linux and the file manager that you have in your shell just isn't your thing. Well, what do you do? Well, either you put up with those file managers or you download Moo Commander, M-U Commander dot com. It is a cross-platform file manager. It's got a split pane interface and yes, they just added a tree view not a preview, a tree view to help you uh, go through a variety of folders. And it, it, it's two pa two panes. Why would you want two panes in the same window? Well, let's say you want to copy these files from here over there. Well, then you normally have to open up two windows or go through some complicated, you know, mess of scripts or right clicks. I mean, it's just so much easier to have two panes right there in the same window. And it's cross-platform and it ain't gonna cost you a thing. All the files are available in subversion, which means, well, let me scan this here. Yeah, lightweight cross platform file manager. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Oh, oh, it's, it's the list here uh, of, of features that are available in Moo Commander. At least I believe it's Moo, M U Commander. Mu Commander, maybe? Uh, virtual file system with local volumes FTP, SFTP, Samba, NFS, HTTP, and Bonjour support. Copy, move, rename files, create directories, email files, browse, and create an uncompressed zip, rar, tar, gzip, bzip, twos, isos, uh, debs, and lst archives. Wow. So you don't even need to download another utility to unzip zip files or rar files. Uh, zip files can be modified on the fly without having to recompress the whole archive. Universal bookmarks and credentials manager. Multiple windows support. Full keyboard access. Highly configurable. Available in 21 languages. And... It's GPL'd. <laughs> Gotta love open source. Oh, it's absolutely free. So let's say you start using it and you're on Windows and you decide, well, I'm going to move to Linux. You can take your favorite file manager with you if your favorite file manager happens to be this one, this free one known as Moo Commander. And to give you any idea, the change log is pretty exhaustive. And this is what I look for. When I go uh, to uh, you know find some uh, software to help me accomplish a task, I always look for a change log to see when it was last updated and how frequent the updates are. Uh, it looks like the most recent one, oh, happened, oh, about a week ago. That's great. And before then, it was a few months ago. But these are solid feature uh, fixes, new features, improvements, uh, bugs that were squished. There are also known issues. They don't seem to be too bad, though. It depends on which operating system you're running. You can submit bugs. They've got forums. There's a place where you can donate. Uh, of course, they've got the developers list, or maybe you'd like to be a developer. I believe all their files have been checked into subversion. Um, oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to try this. There is a web start uh, portion. Since it runs in Java, yes, it is Java-based. That's what helps make it uh, cross-platform. Uh, let's see here. So it's downloading right now based here in the web browser. We're going to try downloading it. I haven't done this yet. I've downloaded the Mac OS X binary, but I haven't actually downloaded it from the web. Verifying, launching, and let's see what we have. Uh, okay, I'm going to trust the certificate. Look at that. It's pretty much, it looks exactly the same as the utility that's running locally. It's the same thing, only it just launched directly from the website. So, I don't know what else to say. There's a few options that you're going to be able to, to trip in there. Uh, it does run in Java, which for some people is kind of like, eh. It doesn't look that bad, at least in Mac OS X. Then again, most Java applications in Mac OS X look fine. Uh, I love Java apps, actually, in Mac OS X because they look... At least most of them look okay. Uh, so give it a shot. Why not? Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you don't. And if you don't like it, fine. Delete it. Get rid of it. You don't need it anymore. Moo Commander. M-U Commander.com. Um, they mentioned in the notes that it was built I with, uh, um, I guess, in the... Uh, uh, if you remember way back when, Norton had a program called Norton Commander. And uh, so... That kind of went the way of the dodo. It no longer exists. Um, but some people still liked the Norton Commander uh, instead of having to use the Windows Explorer. And Moo Commander, or Mew Commander, uh, is here now for everybody.
So give it a shot. Let me know what you think, and maybe you know of an alternative that does run cross-platform, that is just as powerful, if not more powerful, that you can pass along. I'd be interested in finding out. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Feel free to pass along any recommendations, really. You know I'm a software junkie, cross-platform software junkie. Uh, and I'm a geek. That's what, you know, makes it all, uh, you know, worthwhile, I guess. You know, my addiction to software. If I say I'm a geek, then I'm okay with that. At least that's what I... That's what I tell my wife. <clears throat> You're more than welcome to join our community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. Over 8,000 of you over there right now, geeking out. Of course, there are also geeks here in the chat room geeking out. Uh, the chat room is a part of this video that I'm streaming out over the web uh, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And we're typically talking tech here. I include the chat room inside the video, so you, as a part of the community, is, uh, you know, you're as much a part of this as I am. And even if I'm not here, people in the chat room certainly are. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.